Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada, and thanks for tuning us in. Today, I want to talk about comparing ourselves to others. Hmm. It's something us humans have been doing since the beginning of time, a quiet inside game we all play with ourselves, usually when we're already feeling a little insecure or unsure of our own self-worth, maybe due to something going on in our personal life, uh, business life, or even just a tough day. If you spend a lot of time on social media where you're bombarded by people you know or may not know, sharing or I could call it bragging sometimes about how great life is and posting pictures of their new homes, cars, vacation trips, kids, family, and on and on and on. It can be overwhelming and leave you feeling as if you're running way behind the Joneses in any number of ways and easily ruin your day, if not your week. Same when you compare yourself with friends or neighbors. Not good. The truth is that some of those that look like they have it all together don't. They may be deep in debt and hanging in there by a thread to maintain that image. Perhaps their marriage or relationship is a shambles and every day is high stress for them. They just put on a game face and go out in the world each day. Now, if you compare your insides that you know so intimately to their outsides only, you'll be disappointed most every time. But don't despair, there's hope. There are ways to avoid comparing yourself to others. Let's look at a few. One, become aware. That's important. Just stop yourself when you realize you are comparing again. Two, learn to quiet that voice in your head that's always telling you that you aren't good enough. That needs to go. Three, practice gratitude. Be grateful for all the good things in your life and make a gratitude list and read it daily. Important. Comparing ourselves to others is a losing proposition. Awareness is the ultimate weapon for ridding ourselves of self-defeating behaviors. And patience is essential in staying the course. Remember, change your thinking, change your life. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.